Hey guys, this is Bubbo, and for once, I'm in front of the camera. You can see my face. Varmint's behind the camera. I think this is a lot more appropriate, personally. So, let me level with you guys. I'm a fan of My Little Pony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this catches me a lot of flack, as you can imagine. Not from my real friends, the people I hang out with. They know me, and whatever. They don't judge me. It's from people on the internet, and people I really don't care about myself. These judgments exist, and they don't just happen to me. They happen to a lot of people, and over a lot more things than just My Little Pony. You know, I get people telling me, Oh, you must be gay. You like a show about ponies. You're gay. And... Well, I don't see what that has to do with homosexuality, liking a show, no matter what the show is about. Or, I must be a pedophile or a weird person trying to get with kids. I've heard that. And, what? Really? What? But, to address it for a moment, I'm watching it in my house. I don't see the creepy part about that. But, you know, these are the judgments I'm getting from people, and it makes me just, well... What's wrong with these people? What, what, what must be going on in their heads to, to make these assumptions about me? I start judging them back. I can't even help it. Alright, so they're telling me I'm gay because I like a show. How insecure must they be with their own sexuality to judge everyone else like this, jump around declaring their masculinity against other people? Alright, so you're gonna call me gay? I'm gonna wonder about you. Not me. I know what I'm doing. There's this thing called being secure with yourself. Exactly. And that's one big point of this. But we have this judgment system on the internet where people lash out at each other over liking things that other people don't like, regardless of what it's about. You know, it's alright to dislike people for being parts of certain groups, like if they're a murderer or an arsonist. You can make judgment calls about these people and say, well, I probably won't like you. But if you're, oh, you're a sports fan, all right, I may not like your interest, but I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, you must be dumb, you must be stupid. No, because I don't know you. It's like and the idea, like, when it comes to religion, not liking the beliefs. Not, you don't dislike the believers. Exactly. The, the tragic part of this really is the effects this has on people. I mean, sure, people. People like me can just shrug and laugh about it, but there are people who can't. There are people who take this and they're hurt by it. These words actually affect them, and whether they're insecure about what they like, or whether they've had to deal with a lot of bad times in their own lives, but help them. And well, they should just get over it and deal with it. All right, fine, you know. But do you really have to be doing that? Do you really have to sit there and be the guy making fun of other people and degrading and denigrating people's? their likes and their ideas just because you don't share them? Is that the kind of person you want to be to sit there and, oh, you must be gay, you must be retarded, you must be whatever, just because of some minor and, and honestly inconsequential detail about them? Are you going to throw out that person's entire set of ideas, their worldview, and all of their life experiences because, hey, they like a show you don't like. Clearly, they must be the scum of the earth. It's making value judgments on people based on irrelevant variables about their person. Exactly. And there's no point. There's worse than there being no point. You're depriving yourself of the value of someone else's opinion, someone else's experience and worldview that is different from yours. And you're devaluing yourself because you're telling the world that you are so inconsequential as a person and so insecure that you have to denigrate other people to feel better about yourself. Maybe that's not why you're doing it, but that's what it looks like. And again, we're talking judgments. Once you're throwing around judgments, other people are going to do it too. You're making fun of people? There must be a reason. What do you have to hide? Why are you so small? But oh, you, oh, you're going to judge me? I'm sorry, I personally consider that to be a commentary on you, exactly. not me. And there's a simple answer to all of this. We can follow that old, old, old adage called the golden rule. Do unto others what you wish done to you. You don't want people destroying your ideas and rallying up a group of people to just shout you down for what you like. Don't do it to other people. If you don't like what they like, leave them alone. Go away. If Find you, another place. If you aren't going to enjoy 37 people standing around you pointing and laughing at you for some inconsequential variable of your person, then why are you going to do it to someone else? Perfectly said. It's called having empathy, people. Mm -hmm. 
And that is the basis of the Golden Rule, simply understanding that other people, whether they be text on the internet or a person you're talking to in real life, they're a real person. And to judge them based on these stupid factors is well, denigrating to everyone, including the person doing it. Well, the fact is that the person making that judgment, is, it's exactly that, stupid. Yes. And that's the commentary that it has on them. And that's what I want to leave you with to think about is that important note simply that rather than lashing out at people that you don't like take a moment to think about what they like and maybe maybe you don't like it but don't destroy them for it at worst case just go somewhere else the internet's infinitely big there's somewhere else to go this is bobo signing off